What's up neon dreamers, moonlight beamers, and tight jean squeezers. Today we're going to learn how to make a neon glow text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So open up a new file. I'm going to name my neon glow. For the size I'm going to pick 1500 by 1500 pixels. Um, and for the color mode it is important that you pick RGB. Uh, we're going to be working with a lot of neon glows and things like that and we need uh, the RGB color mode to make those uh, look as, as good as they can. Okay, um, the first thing I want to do is lay down a background layer of black. So I'm going to choose a black fill. Um, I don't want a stroke. Hit the rectangle tool and I'm just going to pull roughly and center it and then lock that layer. Make a new one on top named Art. Okay, now that we have that done, um, Let's change our fill to white uh, and click the type tool and click in and I don't know why it changed it to black, just highlight it all, turn it to white and let's bump up the size to about 200. Um, you can type whatever you want. Um, I'm going to make it actually a little bit bigger. Let's make it 300. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you can kind of pick whatever font that you want. Um, it works a little bit better with a sans serif font uh, rather than uh, what's going on. Yeah, something like a uh, Nueva, which has these serifs, it can work, um, but it's best to just pick like a sans serif font. Uh, I'm going to pick this like Thrasher font that I used uh, in my Thrasher video. Um, I think it's cool, but yeah, you can k pick kind of a, you know, um, you know, it doesn't have to be a boring font. It can be something, yeah, cooler like this, and this will still work. Um, so yeah, once you have uh, whatever you want uh, written, uh, click, make sure it's selected, go to Type, and Create Outlines, and you're going to see all of your anchor points pop up like this. Um, right now, we have it set to a white fill. I'm just going to swap that to a stroke. Then I'm going to bump the stroke weight up. Let's, yeah, let's see. Yeah, eight looks, eight looks pretty good. Let's, let's try nine. I want to keep it at eight. Uh, but yeah, you can play around just again, just find something that you like. And uh, yeah, from here, we want to kind of. Uh, make a cool set of colors for our letters. Um, so yeah, I have the stroke selected now. Um, go to your gradient panel. Um, if you don't see it, you can go to Window, Gradient. And click inside of your gradient. Um, if you deselect, you'll see that our gradient, it goes from white to black, and it kind of does that with every letter. We don't want that. We want it to start from white and fade all the way to black with uh, without it restarting every letter. So the way that we get that is highlight all of it, all of it rather, and go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. Uh, we lost our gradient, so yeah, click that back in. We have it at eight. There we go. So this is more of the effect that we want. Yes, yeah, starts from white and it goes all the way to black. Okay, now we can start uh, playing with our gradient and, uh, yeah, just kind of making something just cool. Uh, that's pretty. So I'm going to pull in a magenta. I'm going to pull in some blue. Um, pull in a yellow. Um, yeah, maybe one of these oranges, too. I'm going to switch this up. Yeah, maybe blue on the outside. Uh, but, yeah, um... Yeah, I kind of got like a Elisa Frank thing going on. Uh, but yeah, you can pick uh, kind of whatever you want. Maybe I'll, oops, no, I'm going to leave that in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, so now that we have just uh, a word and just a color that, that looks nice, um, highlight all of it. And we're going to Command Copy or Command C and then Command Shift V to paste another uh, version just right on top of our, our first version. And uh, we're going to use this to make like kind of a, a very blurry 
background. So go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, turn your preview on, and yeah, you can kind of play with it uh, to find something that you like. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Um, okay, yeah, and we want to send that to the back. So the way that we do that is Command Shift and hit the left bracket, and uh, yeah, just uh, kind of yeah, that should be in the background. Look something like that. And yeah, even if you like, you like just can't grab it or something, and like you just want to pull everything away and you're, like just want to get it back. Uh, yeah, we're just centering all of this. So just go to the Align panel and just hit the uh, horizontal and the vertical center until it centers up. And yeah, you can do the same with this one. And yeah, it'll all go back in place. Okay, now that we have everything back, uh, I want to make another layer on top uh, that's going to be like our bright glowing layer. Um, so yeah, again, copy, command C, and then command shift V to paste another one on top, and then turn the stroke to white. And from here, we just want to bump it down a couple of pixels. Um, again, you can kind of play with this a bit to get more of the effect that you want. And yeah, you can even uh, go in a bit more and like even change like the line weight a little bit just so it gets a little bit funkier and it you know doesn't look so uh, yeah, you know, just doesn't look so rigid, rigid and mathematical. You know, you can kind of like play with it a little bit too. I, I think I like it too. I think that's a really uh, yeah, it just looks really clean. Um, and yeah, now um, I'm going to yeah. You can copy this this same layer. Um, just copy and paste again. And I'm just gonna shift it. Um, two over, couple down. Just yeah, I'm just gonna kind of play with it till I get kind of a shape that I want. And I'm gonna turn this to black. So yeah, it should look kind of something like this. Uh, and yeah, bump this up a little bit. Yeah, give us some some kind of look like that. Then I'm gonna go to effects and Gaussian blur again. And I don't want this one quite as wide. I want this one. Let's just let's see how that looks. Mm, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that. So yeah, it kind of has the shadow effect. So now I just want to command and just hit the left bracket a couple of times until you don't want it to go behind the uh, that like colorful blurry background. Uh, you want it to be right in front. Just so yeah, it looks like a, a shadow. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. I don't want it to be so far off to where it looks distracting. Um, yeah, I think that looks really nice. Um, you can go in and, you know, play with it a little bit more. Uh, now that you have seen the, uh, seen the process front to back, you can make your own colors. And yeah, do some, do some other cool things. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the, the, yeah, let's try that again. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.